Hi, Andrew Canvey here with Better Sheets, helping you make better Google Sheets every single day. Welcome to today's video. Of all of the tricks and tips I share and I use to try to make Google Sheets go faster, to get around Google Sheets, I think this is actually one of the most fun Google Sheets tricks I've ever come across. What's interesting about this is that Google Sheets does have a dark mode, but only in mobile. If you're on your phone and you have Google Sheets, you can actually turn it on to dark mode. But if you're on desktop, there is no dark mode. And I sort of discovered that you can change the entire sheet background color with a checkbox. And so that's what we do in this video. We're going to use the checkbox. We're going to use conditional formatting. It's really fun. I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. Welcome to today's video. This is what it looks like. This is fake dark mode. We are creating a facsimile or proxy dark mode with conditional formatting and checkbox. So I'll show you how to do this. But let me show you what it does. We're just going to click this checkbox and bam, we got background color is black. If you notice, the text also changes. So we're going to do both of those things. We're going to change the background color to dark, and then we're going to change the text to a light. I'll show you what it looks like. If we just select all of the sheet, we go to format, conditional format. When we look over here, we have our conditional formatting. It, the end result is B2 equals true. So I'll show you how to do that. We're going to create a new tab here. It's totally blank, has nothing going on and we're gonna put in B2, insert a checkbox. That's all we have to do, check, check. We're gonna put in some text here, turn on click to turn on dark mode. There you go. Just text, that's all we need there. We'll change that in a second because I think, in, if you noticed here, we also have the text changes. So I'll show you how to do that too. All right, so like I said, we have nothing happening here. Go back, select everything. We're gonna go format, conditional formatting. I'm gonna move my face over here. And what we're gonna do is change single color. We got that correct. We're gonna change this format cells if. We're gonna change that to custom formula. We need to put an equal sign, B2 equals true. What B2 is, is the checkbox. So if you ever move the checkbox around or need to put it somewhere else, all you have to do is change that B2. We're gonna hit equal true. Now what's gonna happen, this isn't actually the correct way. I wanna show you what might happen in case you do it the wrong way. So we're gonna use, I think this is gonna be 444. But we'll just double check, 444, click okay. Just showing you that we can do, oh, that's the text. Just so, showing you we can do any color we want. So that's 444. And if you notice, like nothing's happening yet. And if this was happening, it's it's blue here. It should work, but you see nothing's happening because this is not true. So let's click done. Again, this is not going to work, but I'll show you why. So B2, the only thing that's happening is A1. Why? What is that? Let me show you one edit. All we're going to do is add a dollar sign in front of the B and the 2. Why do we do that? This is the big thing that I discovered about conditional formatting and I hope that learning this you do some really cool incredible things. We have selected the entire range A1 to Z1000. If we do not have the dollar signs in front of the B2, this formula will be relative. So that's why only A1 changes. Let me show you again. So if we do that, Let's copy paste this to here. Now what is gonna happen, A2 is gonna change. See, what's going on is that B2 means it's one down and one to the right. It's, it's diagonal and it's relative to this. So everything's gonna be down and to the right. So we can move it over here and see it's right there. B2 is relative diagonally. Okay, so let's delete all those. And we're gonna fix this by going back here putting the dollar sign in here, click done. And now we got the background and also the text color is gonna to change to white. But what about this? This is the final icing on the cake. It, this text we're gonna change. All right, we gotta change this. We're gonna use equals if, and we're gonna use B2 as well, comma. It's false, we're gonna to click to turn on dark mode. 
If it is true, meaning the checkbox is checked, we're gonna say dark mode has been initiated. So we gotta flip those around because I just, <laughs> I just flipped those. That's what we got to do. I always get this wrong. It's true is checked <laughs> is the first one. False is unchecked is the second one. There we go. And now that, if you notice in the C2, the text changes. Dark mode has been initiated. And when it's unchecked, click to turn on dark mode. So that is how you can create fake dark mode inside your sheets. We've used conditional formatting. We've also used a custom formula inside of conditional formatting. We've also added an if function here just to add a little icing on the cake and hope you enjoy fake dark mode. Don't make any sheets, make better sheets.